What's up guys? It's my DVD update. Today's date is 11 11 11. Sorry. Today's date is 11 11 11. Yes, November 11th, 2011. I purposely skipped doing an October update specifically so I could be sure I would have one on 11 11 11. Getting right into it because I know this is going to be a pretty big update. First four are all dollar store DVDs. You know, the ones that come in the real thin case. First one I got is a TV movie. It's a, I've gotten about halfway through it so far. It's, it's pretty good. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's called Someone is Watching. Before, but, uh, before I started watching, I was hoping the theme song and we would be that song by Rockwell. Someone is watching me. I, I'm trying to imitate it, but. Hey. My cat was just rolling around with a $5 bill. This next one I got is an action movie called Phantom Raiders. So, um, well, about someone's watching me, as I said, I got halfway through it, and it is decent so far. I do like it. Next one's an action movie, Phantom Raiders, starring Miles O'Keefe. I'm, I'm enjoying this one. I watched it all the way through. It's almost like a war movie. It's enjoyable, though. I mean, it, there's, a guy, there's a lot of good action in there. I like it. Um, it. Not too much of a story building on this one, but I do enjoy Phantom Raiders, and it, it is good for a dollar on this dollar DVD. So if you can find Phantom Raiders at a dollar store or online for real cheap, yeah, definitely good. It's a good movie. Good action movie. This next two I have not watched. This first one I only bought because of the name. Black Godfather. <laughs> Looks like some sort of shaft knockoff, but we'll have to wait and see. And then this next one because of the cast. You got Telly Savalas, Clint Walker, Chuck Connors, Pancho Vila. Yeah, I really do not know a thing about this, but Pancho Vila. This next one is a four movie box set. Um, I've I've watched all four of these. They're all pretty decent. I mean, it's the Packing Heat quadruple feature. It comes with A Killing Affair, Stingray, Broken Reality, and Death House. Stingray is my favorite. I absolutely loved Stingray. I got a major kick out of Stingray. I loved it. Killing Affair is okay. Broken Reality I enjoyed. Death House was 2.5 out of 5. Cool thing about Death House, though, is because it was directed by John Saxon, so that adds a little bit of uh, intrigue to it. But Stingray is funny. It's a great 70s movie. And I think the VHS of Stingray separately is like $78. So, yeah, you could get real cheap in this set. So I would highly recommend this set just for Stingray. The others are pretty good, too, don't get me wrong. But I, to me, Stingray was the best out of any of these four. They're on these two double-sided discs. This next one I got is... I know a movie that, like, pretty much almost everybody hates... I think I'm the only person in America who likes it, but yeah, it's Fortress 2 re-entry. I absolutely know I'm the only person who likes this movie. Literally, I've looked up reviews of it, and everybody hates this thing. I, I really can't see why. I mean, I found it enjoyable. Sure, some of the characters were annoying, especially the one guy that, like, leads the fortress, like the, I think his name in the movie is Teller. That guy's in the but other than that, I mean, I liked it. I had fun out of it. I had a, I got a ball, well, a kick out of it. I mean, I liked it, Fortress 2. I know I'm probably the only person in America saying this. I know I'm probably looking real stupid right now, but I did really enjoy it. And I, I really didn't see anything that was wrong with it, except for that one teller guy. But, yeah, I mean, it's not recommended for everybody. I, is it as good as Fortress 1? No. I love Fortress 1. I got that back in, like, May. But... I don't know. Thought I just heard the door. Never mind. Uh, the next one I got is Stage Fright. Uh, it's like an Italian giallo movie. It's a, pretty much the plot of it is if you've ever seen the movie Popcorn with Jill Sholin, and I actually own Popcorn. 
a bootleg, but I own popcorn. If you've ever seen that movie, Popcorn, this is very, very similar, except this came first, and this is an Italian version. It's like stage fright. It, it is pretty much an Italian version of Popcorn, except this one came earlier, and it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much the same story. The kids in the theater getting killed off. I, I, do, I did enjoy it. I, I kind of like Popcorn a little bit more than this. Uh, but I still enjoyed Stage Fright. There was still nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's. I would recommend it to horror fans. Yeah, definitely. I would definitely recommend Stage Fright to horror fans. Uh, this DVD is by Blue Underground. I know they release a lot of them zombie movies. I think they also put out a DVD of the Final Countdown. Now this next one. I bought this for two dollars used at a used movie store. And by me called Disc Replay. They got every movie you could ever imagine. Literally, that Disc Replay. This one, I had $5. So I pretty much could buy one movie. And I don't know why I chose this. I saw it. This should be interesting. Oh, crap. Sorry, I had to make that little phone cut there. It was just building more tension to this movie I'm talking about. This movie that I spent two dollars on and I can't believe I bought it. I had no clue what it was. It's Sean Connery in Zardoz. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I don't know why in the hell I bought this movie. It's like Sean Connery running around in these red tights with this giant floating tiki. I have absolutely no clue what I watched. I had absolutely no clue what the story was. I have absolutely no clue why Sean Connery acted in this. I have absolutely no clue why this movie was released in the U.S. big theatrically in 1973. I have no clue why this movie is on official DVD. I have no clue why I own it. I have no clue why I keep doing this no clue joke. <laughs> but yeah, Zardoz, it's, it's just a... It's confusing. I thought it was really dumb. Yeah, I'd just pass on Zarya. This next one I got is I bought this mainly because I'm because Peter Berg stars in it, and I'm a fan of Peter Berg. I like him in Corky Romano. Hell, I love Shocker. Hey, have you ever seen Shocker? Peter Berg's awesome in that. This one is Aspen Extreme. Now, I, when I bought this, I bought this pretty cheap at Kmart. I thought this was something else. I thought I knew what the movie was. I thought I saw it before, so I bought it. And then, like, when I started watching it, I realized it was something completely different than what I thought it was. But I still got some enjoyment out of it. And as I say, I love, I love Peter Berg. He's an awesome actor. Um, it, Paul Gross and Finola Hughes. It's all in this movie, Aspen Extreme. I would recommend it. It's more, it's kind of like a drama, but I enjoyed it. Now, this next one, this is mainly not my type of genre of a movie. I'm mainly in a, you know, like, high-paced action horror, and I like comedy. But this one, there's, it's an American classic. It's a classic novel and a classic movie. There is one reason why I bought the movie, and it's Gregory Peck in To Kill a Mockingbird. Now, it's because the one reason I bought this movie is because I am in my school play of it. And the play actually is one week from today. Today's the 11th. It's in one week from now. It's the 18th. And um, I'm in the play. I play Bob Ewell. And if you know the story of To Kill a Mockingbird, Bob Ewell is the main villain of the story. I frame Tom Robinson, character-wise, I frame Tom Robinson for raping my daughter, Mayella. And... As I said, Bob Yule is the villain of the story. I try to murder Gem and Scout at the end. I will say that's a real fun scene to rehearse in the play. The teacher said she was recording the play, so if she does, I'll rent the copy that she records out of the library and try to post it on here for you guys because I really am impressed by myself because it's so cool playing a villain because my character for the play... They make me so rude. If you know me in real life, I'm like the nicest person you'll ever meet. But in the play, they, like the guy that plays Atticus is my friend Kevin. 
I get like an inch and a half away from his face and I, I have to literally like spit in him. <laughs> I say the N word like 10 times. I try to kill Jem and Scout. I'm like wrestling. I'm pretty much when we do the attack scene, I'm wrestling with him. Just uh, like that. It's real fun playing a villain, but it's an American classic. It's a movie from the 60s. It's black and white, but it's still pretty, you know. You that this everybody should see at least one American classic in their life, and this is one of them. All right, now moving up the notch a little bit. Next one I got here is a Stallone movie, Cobra. Now, even though everywhere I look up it says this is a uh, horror or not horror action movie. This kind of felt like a horror movie to me because it's a group of these serial killers that go around. There's a lot of moments where it real feels like a horror movie. Like there's this one scene where the girl's in the hospital and you see the guy in the hallway walking towards all the people just like... And he's chasing her. She's locked herself in the bathroom and the guy's punching through the door. Really felt like a horror movie a lot of points in there. Jeez. But then Stallone kicks everybody's ass as usual. <laughs> C Cobra, definitely. If you're an action or a horror fan, definitely check Cobra. It's awesome. Stallone. Speaking of Stallone, I got four other Stallone movies here in this four films favorite set. God, that's a tongue twister. Four film favorite set. Uh, this comes with Tango and Cash, which I did watch and I liked. Demolition Man, which I watched and I liked. The Specialist, which I haven't seen yet, and I haven't seen Over the Top yet either. But I do like the first two. Also, I know this is kind of backtracking a little bit, but about the To Kill a Mockingbird play, I just had rehearsals like a couple hours ago. If you're saying something about my hair being greasy, well, that's because Bob Yule is a hillbilly, a real dirty person, so the school drama coach encouraged me to put gel in my hair to make me look like a grease ball, so I don't want any negative comments about my hair being greasy because they pretty much made me do that for the play, so... All right, now getting back up to date after all the Stallone movies, this next one is a bootleg I got from TwistedAnger.com, a really good place to go if you want to find rare horror movies, TwistedAnger.com. This one I bought is a movie starring Clint Walker, Eartha Kitt, and Chris Mitchum. How can you go wrong with that? Clint Walker from Killdozer, Pancho Vila, Dirty Dozen, Eartha Kitt from something... <laughs> Chris Mitchum, who you know is like my friggin' B-movie idol, this is Serpent Warriors. Uh, it's Now, I, I will admit this movie does kind of deliver out really slow throughout, but then when you get to the last ten minutes, the ending, that is freaking impressive. Like when everybody's in the dance club, all the snakes come in, there's like a trillion snakes in there, they're attacking everybody. The ending scene with the snakes is so well done. This movie is only $6.95 on TwistedAnger.com. Buy it just for the ending because that right there was some awesome stuff. This next one's a double feature I got for two bucks at Kmart. I have not watched these two movies, so I have no clue what they're like. Shaker Run and Beyond Obsession. Yeah, I, I really don't know anything about them. I know Life Garrett, but... Now, this next one every horror fan has seen. Return of the Living Dead. If you want to see my uh, meat briefly, it's really brief. It's nothing big, but don't get too excited. But I have a video on my channel called Flashback Weekend 2011. If you go to like 20 something minutes into that video, you can see me say like talking to Linnea Quigley. She's like, hi you guys. Hey everybody, do you want to come scream with me? That's what Linnea says in my video. It's a cool video though, I like that. And it's Return of the Living Dead. Definitely check it out, real fun. Now this next one's a comedy triple feature of Camp Nowhere, Baby Secret of the Lost Legend, and My Father the Hero. I like my father, the hero. I'm a, I'm a, I like Gerard Depardieu, cool French guy, with the huge nose. <laughs> Camp Nowhere is pretty good, and I have not watched Baby Secret of the Lost Legend yet. I th these two I do like. These two are both '80s movies, and this one's from like '94. But I will tell me, is this one any good? Baby Secret of the Lost Legend. A great set for five bucks though, by Mill Creek. And now this next one's more like a biographical movie, starring Edward James Olmos and Lou Diamond Phillips. 
I, it's not that bad of a movie, though. I bought it really cheap. I mean, really cheap, like three ninety nine or so used at this place in the mall by me. And it's this movie about, like, this teacher that taught calculus at a university and, like, all the students started passing it and the, the state officials thought they were cheating. It's Stand and, uh, stand and Deliver with Edward James Olmos and Lou Diamond Phillips. Lou Diamond Phillips is young in this. It was, like, around the same time he did Bats. Stand and Deliver is pretty cool. I know not every horror action fan will be a fan of this movie, but I did enjoy it. It's got this really cool song at the end, too, by the band Mr. Mister. It's like, you've got to stand and deliver with your heart and soul. Bam, bam, we can make it together. All right, now moving on from that one, next one we have is a horror movie from the 80s. Um, directed, or not directed by... It directed by Peter Rader, who I think wrote the screenplay for Waterworld. And uh, this movie is Grandmother's House. Uh, I bought this for fourteen dollars used at that same place. I the same place I bought Zardoz disc replay used for fourteen dollars. It's in perfect condition. Look at that. It's. Look, the disc is perfect, the insert is perfect. $14. I looked this movie up on Amazon.com. It's like for used, like 40 something. A new Region 1 is like $87. I'm like, this thing apparently is out of print and super, super rare. And yeah, I got lucky with this for $14. I didn't even know what it was, it was a blind buy. For $14, and I look it up and how pricey it is. So, yeah, that's what you call luck. Uh, it's a good movie, nonetheless, though. I'm getting on from the price. It is a good movie. It's about, like, oh, it's got Uncle Leo from Seinfeld in there, too. I forgot to mention Len Lezer. Yeah, Uncle Leo. How can you wait a movie if it's got someone who is in Seinfeld in it? Makes no sense. It's a good movie, though. It's real low-budget, 80s, campy. But it, it is... It's funny, though. It's like I like these like kind of horror movies where it's like little kids going up against the, the villains or whatever. Those are always kind of funny. This next one is a 2007 horror movie, so this one's more recent. Directed by Frank Calfoon. And it's P2. It's, now, this... I mean, it's a real, real simple story. But, I mean, you don't need a big, like, Avatar-type story along with it. Pretty much what this is, is a killer, or a psycho stalker, who kills people, stalking an innocent girl in a parking garage on Christmas Eve. It's, it's simple. You don't need to get any more high-tech than that. There's, it's Christmas Eve, the girl's in the parking garage, the security guard, he seems real nice at first, he turns out to be a psychopath, and he's going after her. He's killing people, he smashes a guy in a chair against the wall with his car and it's like a, there's this whole pretty cool scene where she's in the elevator and the elevator floods it's a cool movie p2 it's i think it was yeah it's made by like alexandre aja's whole crew of people frank calfon gregory lavazio alexandre aja and i think even alexandre aja's father alexandre arcadia had something now, the last one just came out in October. Awesome movie. I saw it in the theater five times. Well, <laughs> five times. I saw it in the theater three times. And it was Fast Five. I love Fast Five to death. I got the slipcover. It's all set. To prove I saw it, here is my ticket stub. I keep it in the DVD case. Right there. I, I went with a bunch of, like, my friends once. And I saw with my dad once, I saw it with my cousin once. Fast Five is an awesome action movie. I won't spoil anything about it because it just came out, but all I can say is watch this. This movie is awesome. The only thing that bugs me is that the extended version is only like 45 seconds longer. <laughs> it's like, okay. But yeah, definitely check out Fast Five. At least buy when the price comes down. I had a gift card, so... All right, now going through all the movies in reverse recap, we got, and I just dropped, Ugh. Fast Five. 
P2, a new level in terror. Grandmother's house. Stand and deliver. The comedy triple feature of Camp Nowhere, Baby Secret of the Lost Legend, and My Father the Hero. The Return of the Living Dead. Shaker Run and Beyond Obsession. I'm sorry I did not say a single thing about this, but I have not watched these two, so I have no clue what they're like. Serpent Warriors. As I said, it's six bucks on TwistedAnger.com. Get it just for the ending. The ending is friggin' awesome. And it is Chris Mitchum. How can you go wrong with some Chris Mitchum Euro action movies? Got... Tango and Cash, Demolition Man, The Specialist, and Over the Top. I have not watched these two yet, but I have watched Tango and Cash, Demolition Man. I like both of those. Cobra, awesome. Felt like a horror movie at a lot of points. I think he did that when he was married to Brigitte Nielsen, too. Um, to Kill a Mockingbird, Wish Me Luck is Bob Ewell in the play next weekend. I'm really excited for it. It's You don't know how fun it is backstage and on set just messing around. It's so much fun. I'm like, I'm friends with everybody in the play. It's just, it's just going really well. Wish me luck. And it's, it's so fun playing a villain because if you know me, I'm like the nicest person that you'll ever meet. And then you, I'm, I'm, I'm a douche in the play. Aspen Extreme. Peter Berg. Weirdest purchase I have ever made with Zardoz. Stage Fright, pretty much the earlier Italian version of Popcorn. Fortress 2, re-entry. I know I'm the only person in the country who likes it, but still. The Packing Heat quadruple feature. Killing Affair, Stingray, Broken Reality, and Death House. Buy it for Stingray. Stingray is awesome. And then the $4 DVDs. Pancho Vila. Have not watched. Black Godfather. Have not watched. But it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Phantom Raiders. And someone is watching. Well, I hope you all had a wonderful 11-11-11. And uh, this is the only time... In our lives that this is probably at, we're ever going to live this date. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. Wish me luck in To Kill a Mockingbird. I'm super excited.